we're still rolling boys spring beaver trapping see that right there on the bank right there giant beaver lodge mm-hmm giant beaver lodge on not such a giant pond nope it's really not that big honestly it's right by the road here too little pond they're actually going through cutting all kinds of stuff dam right there is black is backing up the water flooding that guy's driveway over there so i drove by here this winter and there was a lot of open water in front of that lodge so i know there's got to be at least one run there and there's a bunch of banked ends i'm sure too so we're gonna set it up right now all right <laughs> yeah so gosh one two three Got a bunch of runs to set here and only have three traps. Question is, which ones do I set? Maybe I'll just set these three along here. Sure, why not? Throw that there. That one's only gonna take a couple sticks, like that. That one's gonna take a couple sticks. Like this. And there we go. Alright, well, excuse me you guys, we gotta crawl down into the water here, set some traps, some trapes. That's a good, that's a good run. Hard bottom run. Not exactly ideal or perfect. Is that another? Okay. That is. Is that another run? There might be another run. I hope. What the hell? Oh well. Well, there's a run right here, you guys. Coming out of the lodge. I'm trying to. Uh, I don't know what I'm trying to do. All right. Come on now, bud. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Like these victors, you know, I do I Try to get some Belial's, but they uh, were out of them, so ended up going with these Victors here, and uh, kind of like it. These are a true, like the Victors are a true 10 by 10 trap, whereas the Dukes are not. But I do use Dukes still, so you know. Anyway, this and this. Pull this out right here. go right in the center of this run okay right yeah okay boom that's going right in the bottom and this is gonna get wrapped around something temporarily until I can get it all straightened out and whatnot now we're gonna put the swivel stick in here now set. I don't know what that is, but that's really solid. It's a tree here. It's really, 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 really solid for whatever reason. Oh, okay, that one's anchored. Okay, and then there's a run right here. Oh yeah, yep. That can stay there. Need these two sticks. Real quick, like boom. I don't think it really matters. 
Oh ja. Aha. cable over here just like the other ones so I'm gonna find where the center of the run is at quick trap is in now as well. Got this right here. I'll shove it in the bottom here. That way the beaver can get away from the run a little bit. Not sitting right in the center of it. You know, it can, it can scare other beaver. There we go. All right, you guys. Those three traps are set. I could use two more, so... Maybe we'll bring a couple more tomorrow. All right, you guys, we are back. First check on this lodge. I'm just walking down here and I can see something dark under the water. Um, yeah. Oh. Always a good sign. Always a good sign, boys. Looks a nice big beaver, too. Yeah. Oh, giant beaver, though. Right by the head. That there, for this year. Here we go. That beaver. Oh. Probably an extra large, I'd say. Oh. Nice. Well, that's trap number one. Let's go check these other two. All right, you guys. So we got the big band lodge here, I think. My stick is kind of goofy. Here, that, and that. I've gotten so used to setting these shallow bank ends that it just, I don't know, <laughs> I don't like setting the deeper ones like this anymore. But from time to time, I still can do it. Still can still connect on beavers, you guys. That, just a little guy, just a little guy, you know. That's all right. That's beaver number two out of this pond. I'm going to set up a couple more traps on, on this pond here quick. You guys aren't going to see that. But anyway, yeah. There we go, you guys. Two beaver out of this pond. And we'll be back tomorrow for the next check. Nick. Yo, what's up? We are back for another check on this lodge. We were here yesterday. What did we catch? Three beaver? think so two beaver I don't know we had a big one there we had two beaver so we had a big one in that trap down there nothing in this one and a small one in this one well today we're back and I'm looking down here I haven't checked the set but there's something awfully that colored under the water here and I'm just gonna guess that it is the flat tail Beaverus Maximus, also known as. Not really, but. Ugh. There's a stake there. Stake there. 
also known as beaverish tiniestness. So this is a little guy. Wow. I'm gonna take time him out of the trap real quick for you guys, I think. Try not to impale myself on the stick behind this behind me. Put that stick there for a little extra leverage. It's all about leverage, you guys. You can't get this thief that right there. You can get it on a nice solid spot. work every time but if you can't get it on a nice solid spot you're gonna have trouble I ain't gonna lie that one compressed take this guy out there we go. There we go. just a little fella that's all right you know why because the next trap down, I can see my stake is floating in the water. So that tells me something got caught in there and pulled it out of the bottom. Hopefully, I don't ever, don't ever count your chickens before they're hatched because you can get pretty sad pretty fast. Okay, guys. So here we go. I've said this a bunch of times this year, but it's really nice having these with arm link gloves. Setting these bank ends has never been so easy. I ain't gonna lie to you. Let's find the sides. Don't get your arm caught in the 330s, probably the next best thing. And put it right down that run, you guys. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stick through each side, TP style. And the good part about it being so shallow like this is. I can feel, I can say, okay, yep. The stick is definitely through on that side. This side, feel it. Boom, stick is definitely through on this side. All right, you guys, ooh, almost lost an eyeball. That one is right there, and now we're just gonna waltz right over since we're here. Let's check this other trap. that that almost feels like a back foot said so you guys probably can't see it but there's a dark there's a dark thing right right there sticking up and if we're really lucky that's going to be a big beaver oh no i was wrong you guys little beaver little beaver huh well that is one two three Three little beavers. I'm having a brain fart here. Three little beavers out of here so far, and one big one, you guys. So I'm gonna reset this off of camera since I just set the other one for you, and we are gonna come back for a final pull in this place, and hopefully we'll get the other big one. We'll see you then. All right, going for our last check on this lodge. Caught. Oh, I don't know. What did I catch? Got a big one. Some small ones. Yeah, there's a big one left in here. So hopefully with any luck at all, we're gonna pull it out today. Let's get at her. Nothing in that one, you guys. Uh. And a muskrat. We wanted you guys. We didn't get them, you guys. Didn't get them. I had some sprung traps. I don't know what the deal is with that. I had a rat in one. So, I guess. Oh, well. We still got some nice ones out of here. It was a good time. A couple good checks on this pond. So, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed another spring beaver trap video. Please like, share, subscribe.